Beautiful, beautiful. Well, welcome one and all. It is an absolute honor and a privilege to have you join us here today. Uh, my name is Charles Bakai, and I am the Program and Events Coordinator here at the London Ontario Black, Black Economic Empowerment Program. Mm. Once again, welcome to today's webinar on uh, the benefits of being a member of the Greater Sudbury Chamber of Commerce. Uh, before we proceed, I would like to acknowledge that I am broadcasting here as host from traditional lands of the Atikmashing and Anishinaabek, which is a white fish first nation here in Sudbury. For rules of engagement, um, if you would like to ask a question, you can either just type the question in the chat or simply unmute yourself, okay? Um, and a copy of this recording will be available on our YouTube channel and also on our website, nobib.ca. So um, if you are rigorously taking notes, do not worry, the recording will be available shortly after. Um, so without further ado, I would like to introduce Jennifer Self. And Jennifer um, is the Director of Business Development and Engagement at the Greater Sudbury Chamber of Commerce. She will be presenting on the benefits of being a member of the Chamber of Commerce. So Jennifer, do us the honor and take it away. Beautiful, thank you, Charles. Hello, everyone. I'm just trying to make the screen go away. So can everyone see my screen? Oh, this meeting is being recorded. Can everyone see my screen? Actually, now I can't see anyone, so I can't. Yes, we can see a screen, Jennifer, we can see. Okay, beautiful. Thanks for the thumbs up, Sarah. <laughs> if anyone has a question, please just stop me at any point. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing um, a little bit about the Greater Sudbury Chamber of Commerce, as Charles said. So the agenda for today's meeting is to meet your chamber staff, and then I'm going to cover, understand the role of the chamber in the community. And then last, we're going to learn more about the membership um, and the benefits and what it means, um, which covers what um, Charles led. So this is Debbie Nicholson. She is our president and CEO at the Chamber of Commerce. Fun fact, she has been here for over 40 years. Um, so she has a wealth of knowledge um, and in the office every day. So if you ever need us, we are down the road from Nobeep. Um, lots of people think we're Service Ontario. So <laughs> if you're ever at Service Ontario, come say hi. Um, and then this is me, Director of Business Development Engagement. And then as well, Charlene, I more call her our finance guru, as well as IT support. Um, she's been here for over, I think almost 20 years now. And she has a wealth of knowledge as well. Um, our small team, um, Charlene and I also lead all of our events at the chamber, which I'll talk more about. So um, this, I just wanted to highlight kind of the greater, you know, our business plan, um, our strategic plan, sorry. So we're known as your business champions, kind of like our slogan, similar to Nike is just do it. Um, so we are a non-for-profit member supported organization. And through the participation of our member volunteers on committees and task force, we work to influence municipal, provincial and federal um, legislation affecting over our member our membership of 750 business members and their 37,000 employees. But of course there's spill with that. So in our efforts, other businesses do benefit from our efforts. Membership in the chamber is an investment that helps grow your business, provides opportunities for networking, professional development, as well as a way to contribute to a thriving business environment in the greater Sudbury um, area. And as a member, you can count on us. Make sure you have the best tools and programs to enhance your business. So our mission, that kind of covers our mission and vision. Um, in providing our members with a competitive advantage. Here are three strategic pillars. So influence, connect, and support. So influence is, you know, we're a trusted advocate. So as I mentioned, we have very good relations, provincial, federal, sorry, municipal, provincial, and federal. Um, and I'll chat more about those later. Um, connect, this is where we kind of, this covers our events. Um, and then support is in terms of our cost-effective resources, cost-saving programs to create value for our members, as well as their employees. 
So uh, as a chamber, um, so we are governed by a board of directors, 16 of them, volunteers. This year, our chair is, chair of the board is Anthony Davis, who's, um, his title is operations manager for GSP. Um, and then our board also forms smaller committees. So um, as a chamber, we collectively do what no one business can do alone. We're the voice of the business of the business representing over 750 members advocating on provincial, federal, and municipal levels of the government on our business's behalf in their best interests. The chamber plays a crucial role in protecting business interests and keeping Sudbury a competitive and attractive place to do business, to invest, and to increase job opportunities. So I would say I kind of thought of six words that I kind of described. Us and I said we're outcome based, collaborative, grassroots, consistent, focused, and nonpartisan. Kind of, I thought, sums us up quite well. So, our municipal advocacy committee, which we call MAC, and I've listed in here a few of our um, initiatives that they've worked quite closely on. But MAC provides leadership in addressing municipal isu issues of the importance to the greater Sudbury business community. Committee members identify, communicate, and remove barriers to doing business and enhance overall economic prosperity of the city. So we are working, you know, the 2020 budget. We did a lot of work through COVID and providing and still provide um, COVID rapid tests. Um, also the municipal elections. So part of that red tape or really we've got a meeting next Friday morning looking for members to share specific examples um, so that we can reduce the red tape at City Hall. So and then we have our Provincial Advocacy Committee. This is what we call PAC. And PAC provides leadership in addressing provincial and federal issues of importance to the greater Sudbury business community. The committee will identify the same, communicate and remove barriers um, for the overall economic prosperity of Sudbury. Oops, went too far. So there's a little slide for a few photos. Um, so networking and, and events. This is a big benefit that we, a lot of members are quite proud of coming out of COVID. Um, so we put on over two dozen events designed to educate, connect and inspire. So we have four different types of events. We have our workshops. So these are chamber U workshops that happen in the mornings, usually eight to 8.30 is networking and then 8.30 to 10 is a hands-on workshop. Our members usually decide what these topics are because we want to provide them with resources and connect them with specialists. So we did have um, Jennifer and Claude come from NOHFC and FedNOR speak about being successful grant applicants. We did three HR trainings this year about making sure your employee handbook was up to date with um, the ever-changing guidelines I learned. Um, how to attract and retain employees, as well as how to hire um, and train the trainee. That was with Carrie Lynn, which was very successful. And then we did social media training and sales training. And hopefully next year we'll include some like cloud-based accounting or some finance training. But it really, um, our, it, our members give us that feedback and kind of dictate where we go with those. So those are our workshops in the morning. Usually see about 50 to 70 people. And then we have our luncheons. So these are called our chamber impact events, um, which provide pressing issues in the community, but also gives opportunity for our members to connect with, um, um, sorry, I've lost my train of thought, um, but CEOs, industry leaders, kind of um, government, you know, we had meet the minister, we had the mayor speak, and these are luncheons um, where we see a range from about 120 to 300 people in attendance. So a great networking opportunity, as well as, you know, representation across all the industries in the greater Sudbury area. So lots of great success through those. And then we have our after work events. Um, these are called our engage events. 
And these are actually that's a photo of Dave from Twigs, and that's Sydney who works from Stingray, the center photo where they're like cheering. Um, that was we had an event at the Daventry and in the South End um, with over 80 people. And at all of our events, we do a $500 media gift card. Um, actually, No Beep won. Gina from No Beep won the first one, um, which is really fun. <laughs> so we kind of try and create, you know, those after work ones are more trying to create a less, more casual way to interact with um, members, you know, for whether it's, you know, the local coffee shop to the, um, you know, co uh, commercial real estate, Milan and Goring come out. So a great variety of people. We have one coming up June 7th. Um, at Buzzy Browns, also down the South End. Um, we've sold about 30 tickets and hoping our capacity, we've been set at 60 to 70. So that one should be really fun. I did forget to mention some of the examples of people we've had for our luncheons, both besides the mayor um, and Vic Fideli. We did have Gord Gilpin, who's the head of Ontario Operations. People are very happy to hear him. Um, and then the top photo, that one's from our... Oh, yes, our fourth type of event is our signature events. Um, these are our AGM, International Women's Day. So that's the photo in the top right. We had a panelist of speakers um, and two hosts. Um, not Rogers. No, that's Melanie Dahl and Jamie. Um, and then we had, um, I just saw our chef Tammy. Bob, who, um, Raven Rising, who won a $20,000 Canada Post Award, super cool woman, Bobby, who's an entrepreneur at heart, who owns All About Massage Downtown, then Giovanna is in that photo, she's the new CEO from the airport, and then the last one is Jody Cooley, Dr. Jody Cooley, um, who had a really cool story about being, like, a scientist. Um, and so they all spoke and we had about 300 people in attendance for that. And then the little photo to the left was our, we brought back the curling fun spiel where we had 60 um, sold out event again, um, 60 people in attendance. And next year we're hoping to have more. Um, does anyone have any questions or I just keep going? <laughs> um, perfect. Okay, thanks Charles. Um, so then I wanted to talk about our Chamber Perks app. So we launched our Perks app last, no, a year and a half ago now. Um, and that it lists over more than 230 perks and discounts for more than 130 of our chamber members. It's been downloaded over 25,000 times. I guess I should talk about it. So the Chamber Perks app was created. I always see it as a shop local and save. So all our 750 businesses are featured on here with, you know, their logo, contact details, Google Maps, social media, a bit of a description. It's kind of like a Google for the greater Sudbury area. Um, but our members can use it as a marketing tool to send out perks to either the general public or chamber members, as well as it's expanding across Ontario. So you can also offer, you know, someone coming from Timmins could come and check out your business and save. Um, so it allows in being a part of the chamber membership, it's free. Um, like the chamber memberships allows your business to be featured on this mobile business directory, we call it. Um, and all of your, so you, the business benefit, but also all your employees as a member can download it and take advantage of these perks and savings, um, which is really cool. Some examples are um, actually, Bobby from All About Massage gives 20 or 30% off your first service. Um, there's a new beauty hair salon. Um, I'm only a year into Sudbury, so I don't know how to say where it is, but um, she gives $10 off like a product, Twigs and Cup of Joe gives a discount. Um, you can sharpen your skates at um, Adventure 365, like there's, you just have to spend some time. U-Haul offers 30%. So there's lots of, this is another piece of the cost saving benefit of being a chamber member. So that's um, very cool. Um, it's also a great tool for members 
in trying to do collaborations or partnerships, they can use the Chamber of Perks app to find, connect with other businesses in whatever you know category they're looking to do. So that's cool. Um, really like it or enjoying it. Um, these are more of our affinity programs. I'm sorry, the logos look very blurry. Um, but our chambers plan, so our, um, this is employee benefits. Um, Steve Sola is our guru. I should have had a photo of him in here as part of the team. Um, but this is the number one employee benefits program in Canada for anyone with one to 51 employees. Um, and if anyone ever wanted to know anything about it, I would directly connect them with Stephen. Um, we also do have savings programs with Pure, like national ones, with Pure Later, Esso and Mobile, you can save three and a half cents a year. Anyone, any chamber member, um, as or if you sign up a new business, I think it's seven cents a liter for the first three three months. Um, Brandon Toy, so office supplies. Elevon is a payment processing platform, um, and they will do free assessments of how much you'd save if you switch using them through the chamber, through being a chamber member. I also included in here some of our latest developments. So ooh, last September, we launched, so it's been a year, um, we launched our job portal, um, which was a huge upgrade. And so what we can do now is we've got job seekers as well as job posts. So job seekers can create profiles and set up alerts to receive notifications when jobs are within their criteria and posted. Um, to date, we have 63 employees and we actually have 106, I checked this morning, um, registered candidates looking for jobs. Um, instead of doing a job fair this year, we decided to invest our time and money in this job portal, as well as presenting it to all of the schools, so the four school boards and the post-grad and secondary schools um, and having them uh, the word um, like advocate for it as a great way for a great resource for students to see what jobs are available in Sudbury so we don't lose talent to other you know down south or farther north um, and why we spent this time and money on the job portal was we had a lot of feedback from our members saying they were spending a lot of money on Indeed and having to you know sort through hundreds of um, applicants who weren't in Sudbury or not eligible. So we really want to create a place for Sudbury um, to do jobs. Um, we also handed out um, 171,000 rapid tests throughout the pandemic to about 12, well, not less than 1,200 um, businesses. We also wrapped up our connections as our monthly newsletter. Um, we consolidated this and we send it out on the first Tuesday of every month, trying to be very respectful of our members' inboxes and time. So consolidated that. Our new, anyone can get our newsletter, member, non-member. It covers you know, advocacy work that we're doing in the community, photos, celebrating our members, new mem welcoming new members, past events, upcoming events, so a great resource. And then our website continues to be refreshed, um, more focused on business and events um, for the year. So well, I did put a little overview slide here, um, you know, in being a part of the chamber, you have the opportunity to connect, socialize and build your business network, ability to use the free Chamber Perks mobile app, exclusive chamber cost savings programs, connect with policy and decision makers and see the impact made on advocacy efforts or professional development. Um, one thing I, as well as access to our job portal and we do have some marketing and advertising opportunities. All our events have sponsorships. Um, and so that's something we can talk about to really highlight and showcase your business in association with some of our events. Um, and then also as a member, we give free access to our boardroom. Um, oh, I spent rentals wrong, sorry, excuse that. Um, but our boardroom, about, we actually have one of our members pace in it right now using it, doing some training. Um, and it has, 
you know, two giant screen TVs, cameras, speakers. It's quite nice and sits up to 20 people. So that is another benefit of a little smaller one <laughs> being a member. Um, yeah, that kind of covers everything. A little out of breath being like nine months pregnant, but this, um, does anyone have any questions? Anything. I am, and if I don't know the answer, I'll have to get back to you, but and hopefully I can answer your question. But I appreciate your time and letting me share with you some of the benefits of being a chamber member. Well, if there are any questions, oh, there you go. Sarah is asking, how does one join? Oh, we chat. <laughs> um, there is a, no, that was a horrible answer, but um, we can connect. Um, there is, uh, when you go to our website, um, sudburychamber.ca, on the top right corner, there's a button that says become a member. All our memberships are based off the number of employees um, that one has, full-time employees one has. So no matter the size of your business, you will have access to all the benefits, um, which is really great. Thank you for the question. Jennifer, I have a question. Yeah. How much does it cost to sign up? Mm, well, it depends if you're an individual okay. or a small enterprise. So small enterprise is one to two full-time employees, and that's $372 for the year, which is basically works out to just over a dollar a day to you know, have access to you know, the Chamber Perks app, which you can use as a marketing tool. Mm -hmm. Also, we don't do many individuals, but we do have individual memberships um, as well as retired memberships. We do, I didn't include it, but we do have our Chamber Perks, Chamber Travel, sorry. Um, and so you can buy membership, retired membership and join the travel. Um, I think it closed, the travel closes tomorrow. I don't do much work on the travel, but, um, and then if you have a business that has three to 10 in full-time employees, it's $517 and then goes up, you know, 11 to 25 is 575 Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. So it all depends on the number of employees that an organization yeah. has. Yes, but you, no matter how many employees you have, you get access to all the benefits. Noted, noted. Um, there are a couple more questions in here. Okay. Um, Sarah is asking again, what if you have two different businesses for sign up? I believe. Perfect. Would it be one piece or separate? No, so you'd sign up one. Um, and then we would have that. And then we have, if anyone has, because quite a few people in Sudbury do have multiple businesses, you would have, you would buy the membership for the business that has the most employees. And then your second business would be considered an associated business, which is $331 for the year. Same access to everything. Understood. Sarah, does that answer your question? I guess I can't excellent see the chat. excellent the i can't see the chat no i can't see it <laughs> that's okay i will i will read out the questions to you um mm -hmm. chica chica i see you have your hand up um you can just go ahead and unmute yourself and ask a question chica pardon me oh uh, a lady raised up her hand to ask a question chica if you're having difficulty um just type your question in the chat okay Chica, unfortunately, we can't hear you. Right, question from Chica. Is there a discount for startups? Um, no, the only discount is for, um, not really, no, we don't do discounts. There is one offer if you um, are part of the Innovation Quarters program you do get your first year for free or, and you get, um, or you get um, access to membership pricing. Good question. Noted. Chica, does that answer your question? Yeah. 
yes. I hope, I hope that's a yes. <laughs> that's a yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so she's asking again. So how do we get the membership first year for free? Oh, the, the innovation quarters. Um, so if you are a part of the innovation quarters program, um, one of their benefits is you get your first year free. Actually, another question in relation to that, how does that work exactly? How does the, um, how is the innovation court is able to facilitate this? Um, is that something? We work in partnership with them. Okay. Yeah, okay. so you have to check out Innovation Quarters. They're right across the street from us, a new beautiful space. And they just started um, their pro new program um, mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. March. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we are we are we are familiar with the Innovation Quarters. Yeah. We know they're attached to the Regional Business Center. Right? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's how um, we work in partnership. So like our workshops in the morning, we they're in partnership with the Regional Business Center. Yeah, those are excellent, by the way. I attend a few of those and they are phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Excellent, excellent. Um, do we have any more questions? Anyone in the chat? Going once, going twice. There you, you go. Can, can you, you can type share my name in the contact yeah. details? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, wait, when you see your contact, give me your email address. Yeah, you can share my email okay. if anyone has and questions me, after this. All right, let me, I'll put that in the chat. Just give me a second. I don't know what this chat is. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is taking longer than. I think I found it. I found it? Yeah, so my full name and then my email is that. There we go. Excellent, excellent, yeah. excellent. Thanks a lot, Jennifer. We yeah. really appreciate you coming here um, for the presentation, although you're no, nine months pregnant, close. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Um, no, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, Thank excellent. you for organizing it. Oh, the pleasure is all ours. The pleasure is all ours. So we wish you a happy birth, if I can say that. Um, I hope I hope it goes as smoothly as possible, but I guess history um, will have something <laughs> nice to say about that. But we wish you, we wish you, we wish you the absolute best, honestly. Thank you. Again, thank you. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And thank you to the rest of you for, for joining us uh, yeah. for this fairly brief presentation. We hope it was informative. And again, the recording will be available on our website and also on our YouTube channel. So do keep an eye on that. I thoroughly enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we will connect in the not so distant future. Take care, everyone. And take Thank care, you. Jennifer. Thank you, everyone.